Hi there, my name is Gregor. Hi, let's just wave at each other through the screen because that is not weird at all. This video today is focused on getting you better at the game. This is part one of many parts. I don't know how many parts I'm going to make of this of the Raiders offensive ebook. First, I want to explain what an ebook is. Basically, it's just explaining how to run a certain scheme, whether that be on offense or defense. Generally, I do offensive ebooks because I think that I'm better at moving the ball and stopping people from moving the ball so that's what i focus on mostly now the raiders playbook is something that i've noticed more and more online i've faced it a lot i have trouble stopping it and generally when i have trouble stopping something i want to get into it first of all to learn what they're doing so i get a better idea of why i can't stop them and then second of all because i want to get in on the cheese you know i'm running bunch at the moment and I, I want to switch to this because this is the most cheesy scheme right now. I've got escape artists. So if you're one of those guys that complains about people who do this type of thing, there you go. I'm your biggest target. I'm gonna, don't even make myself bigger. Go down in the comments and hate on me. But if you're here to get better at the game, then this is the perfect place for you. I'm going to split this up into different parts because there is a lot to this playbook. And I want to talk about in this installment today, first of all, about a little formation called Gun Bunch Tight End. And second of all, about some of the abilities that we're going to use to make this office as powerful as possible i'm going to explain the abilities that we want to use on the gun bunch scheme and i want to start off by talking about which people we want rare rest basically so i'm currently using derrick henry derrick henry is the quarterback as crazy as that sounds in ultimate team that's the thing he has got gunslinger which is 6 ap and escape artist which is 2 ap on my squad now if you just want to pass the ball if you don't want to scramble i still recommend derrick henry because he's got the Aaron Rodgers release which is the best in the game and then you just have to spend 6 ap and not adp but i'm gonna spend adp because i want to make him as powerful as possible then we need route abilities and what i have on my team is i have wide receiver apprentice which is gonna give my guy devin hester all the hot routes that he can get this is a guy that you can get for any every single team team it's great it's not great for the mutt aspect because now everybody has a great theme team but it is a great wide receiver that you can use and you, that you have at your disposal now, on the other side of cliff cliff branch he's got a slot archetype so that means that he gets slot apprentice at one ap that is crazy to me so if we're keeping track right now we've got eight ap on the quarterback on darren hester we've got two ap because wide receiver apprentice is two ap then in the slot i have calvin johnson because he's huge he's, he's like one of the tallest wide receivers in the game he's absolutely cracked i've got deep outlet on him that costs two ap so we're keeping track we're now at 13 ap and now the last two ap who i'm gonna spend it on i'm gonna spend it on roger craig my running back he's got one ap for backfield master that gives him just some extra hot routes it's a crazy good ability because it also improves his route running Generally, I think this is my favorite setup. I'm going to, of course, tweak it as I get more familiar with this offense. And, of course, you always have to be willing to make changes. The P update is going to come in the near future, I think. We're, of course, going to be on the lookout for that. I will, of course, give you an update on what my abilities are after the AP changes. Without further ado, let's get into it. I want to now talk about the main idea of this offense. It's audibly in between a couple of different formations. I'm going to break down in this ebook the Gun Bunch offense. The gun tight offense, which is not the tight, uh, tight slot offset. Don't free, don't uh, get those two confused. The bunch tight end, the gun tray, and of course the tight slots HP weak tight, not offset, but tight slots HP weak. There we go. We want to start off by the bunch, uh, by, uh, going about the bunch tight end. And generally, here's something that you can always do to annoy your opponent. This is just something we're going to do on these first a uh, few plays, so you guys get used to it. Uh, but we're going to come out in bunch and audible to bunch tight end. Easiest thing in the world. So I'll just call any play in bunch. I'll call, just call spacing switch. And on defense, we're going to call just a regular old cover, cover three. How's that sound? Regular old cover three. We're going to move the ball back. And generally, what you want to do is you want to come up with the bunch uh, to the wide side if you're running regular bunch. Because then if you flip it, the bunch tight end bunch is on the other side. And you want this uh, with the bunch to the short side. You just want that. Because then the crossers and the posts are way better and now we just want to run the regular play i'm just going to block the tight end which you can do by just max protecting or individually blocking him then you're going to snap this ball and you just carry out the play action and then you throw this cross okay we just got unfortunate there because uh we actually took our defender with us so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna audible to the bunch tight end going to double team right here snap this ball try to get outside of the pocket and now you see that this is working way better. We're going to catch this along the sideline, get a beautiful catch animation. For real though, the main focus is just to roll out and 
basically have have as much fun as possible uh we got a single team animation right there it doesn't matter though because we are going to laser that in anyway this is an issue that i have sometimes noticed but it's not really a thing uh in online mutt Be uh, the crosser does not generally run into the uh the cornerback that does not happen you don't have to be afraid of that as right here you see right here you see this is not an issue we get the uh, nice cross and that's easy yards for us right there and that's fine all but guys that are watching this video playing ultimate team right now they know that the main thing of this formation is the bombs and i want to talk about those bombs right now what we're going to do is we're going to streak triangle which is goodwin or y on xbox then we're gonna put circle on slant or b and we're gonna block the running back and we're gonna block gronkowski we're going to double team this guy right here on the outside just to make sure that gronkowski has some support we're gonna snap this ball we're gonna try to get outside of the pocket and you will see us trying to heave this ball down the field now that did not look as open as i would have liked it to sometimes it works a little more sometimes it, wor it works a little less practice mode is funky that way but what i can promise you is that this has burned me <laughs> this individual setup i think has burned me at least 12 times uh throughout the last weekend weekend league which is kind of crazy for one single setup uh, it's so annoying to deal with as right there you see that it is way more open that is what we want see it's kind of funky in practice mode but prom i promise you this is a consistent beater in ultimate team there's another variation to this and this is now something that also starts speeding cover two which is quite nice we're going to streak goodwin we're gonna put brown on out and we're going to wheel the running back this is how the play looks now we're going to double team right here and you will see that this speeds covered three and then right after that we're gonna run it back versus cover two which is we're gonna throw this on the run uh Tom Brady misses the throw but you see we still got that separation now let's call this against cover two we're gonna audible to people over into tampa two okay cool so now we're going to run the same setup the out route on the left doesn't really matter i like to put a zig or an out route there just to kind of take the attention from the user away we're going to double team right here again as we like to do we're going to try to get outside of the pocket and now you will see how this just works perfectly and i want to go into replay because it didn't look that open to be honest with you but i'm going to explain why it is open in a second the zone that we want to watch how it plays is this deep half on the right side so if we're gonna fast forward a little bit you see how this zone is really reacting hardcore to this wheel like it looks at it and it slows down now what is, what happens this post it doesn't even recognize that post until it's too late like right there when i'm throwing it it's too late this is separation now why is number 45 Devin white playing back so far this is a mid read zone and the mid read if there's no zone drops on it drops back pretty far like it's kind of crazy how far it drops back for it kind of being just yellow uh if we watch this it goes back to the 30 yard line that is 20 yards to the 50 and 50 it drops uh back 35 yards from the line of scrimmage that's kind of wild now a lot of people they run zone drops and what what that does is it kind of just tells them okay stick at that yard line okay five yards away from the line of scrimmage there you go that now takes away the matching capability of the mid read and now this post will become way more open and i'll explain that to you and i'll show that to you right now i will protect the sticks on defense which is going to simulate zone drops then i'm gonna double team right here and you will see how this just gets wide open just wide open uh we had to throw the ball a little bit early there i'm gonna try this again because we just got shedded which is gonna happen sometimes uh but this is this is an ebook guys this is an ebook this is gonna be very free flowing I'm trying to make as minimal cuts as possible so you guys can believe what i say uh we will get the time and just zi just zip it it's just wide open mid read is not there to cover it and it's gonna be an easy read for you guys now there of course are some variation of display that you can do that i'm not gonna break down each individually uh what you can do is you can put your tight end on a drag you can put your tight end on in route and just snap the ball like this i would generally keep the play action i don't know why i just uh took it off you can just take off the play action by blocking the running back uh that that takes it away but i generally like the play action so you're gonna keep this uh, you're gonna roll out you're gonna roll out you're gonna roll out and then just throw the start very very simple uh the crossing out of this play is so good the poster is so good that you can do a lot of things behind it some other thing that you can do is if you want to invest two extra ap tight end apprentice which is going to give you a post route like that the post route on the tight end is generally not a great read unless it is against cover three which i will kind of make a makeshift cover three shell here on the left so you will see now this post route is going to work beautifully 
So we're going to drop back, drop back, and then we can see how this just gets in a nice area. And of course, this has to be guarded by zone drops, but here's the issue. A lot of people are going to use zone drops to cover the crosses, to cover other corners it will have. That will sh show in a second uh, to where this post just gets in a nice area that's not going to be covered by any of the zone drops that's going to take care of the other place. So it's a beautiful route that's just going to be one more thing that your opponent has to worry about. I'm not using the tight end practice ability currently. I might switch to it. We will see. This looks pretty convincing. I'm going to be honest with you. Now, the second play that I want to break down is going to break curl flat corner. This is probably my second favorite play of this formation because it just has a deep corner. And we will see this on the field right now. I'll call it against cover three first because you're not audible to cover two in a second. Against cover three, we have a very simple setup. We're just going to put Goodwin on a streak. Evans on his outright is very fine. And then it depends what we want to do. If we want to block our running back, then we're going to put our tight end on the curl. If we want to block our tight end, we're going to put our running back on the curl. This is just to keep the user honest. This is just to have, have another read. If the user tries to go off and cover this corner route, then we can throw that. This corner route, it's pretty annoying to defend. We generally need zone drops to cover this. Man coverage does not do an amazing job of covering it. I've noticed online as people have just been throwing this against my man coverage whenever I try to man it up. We can test it right here. Practice mode is not the most reliable thing, but we will see if this works. It is manned up at the moment, and you will see how we get some nice separation right here. And that's not even route ability. If you have someone like route, with route technician right there, this is going to be absolutely wide open. What do we do against cover 2 though? Because against cover 2, I have to change it up a little bit. We are going to put Evans on a streak, go win on an outro, and then backside, we're going to do the same thing. This time, I want, you can see the abilities, uh, the uh, routes, but I'm sending Bernard on a curl route and blocking the tight end. So we will snap this ball, and you will see me just lasering this ball over top of the cloud flat end. Now, for this play, it does not depend what hash mark you're on. For most of the bunch tight end plays, you want to be with the bunch to the short side. For this one, it's not the biggest deal. So in uh, this case, I want to block the running back. It's called tempo 2. And I will explain in a second for which defense you want to block the running back and for which you want to block the tight end if you're facing them. So you see me right there, Tony Brown. Nice little dot for a lot of yards. Let's talk about which player that you want to block. Let's play against 35 wide for a second. Let's play against that. 35 wide has a very, very simple bit. You're going to pinch the entire defense, then you're going to slant inside on the D line. You're going to QB contain. And this guy, uh, uh, David, right here, he is going to be not your blitz, so he's going to be a user. What you do against this is you want to block the tight end because that takes care of that blitz. Right? Block the running back does not matter. You just need to block the tight end. And you can see everything is picked up when we can throw this dot to the sideline. If we play nickel 2 for 5 odd, this blitz only gets picked up with the running back. The tight end, in that case, I would send him out. Honestly, if I were you, I would send him out. If you know that you're getting blitzed heavy, this is not the ideal play that you want to go for. But this can, this play can be run. This is not specifically there, there to attack the blitz. It's there to do a lot of things. It also does a decent job of beating the blitz. But there are specific plays that we're going to go into. Or not really that we're going to go into, but that I have on my pay hip, which I will do a document, a written down for version of this. Which you can get for $5 if you want. Or I go into more specifics on each formation and more details. Because otherwise, the YouTube videos would just be way too long. This is already a pretty long video, so I'll cut it in a second. But just just so you guys know, block the tight end when you're playing 2 4 wide and block the running back if you're playing 2 4 5 odd. Now, I appreciate you guys making it all the way through the video. If you're new around here and you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. I will highly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and learned something during this video, then please like the video. It would help me a lot with the algorithm and also it would support me in what I'm doing and it would let me know that my work is appreciated. With that being said, thank you for watching the video one more time. I'm out of here. Go make sure to check out the next parts of this video because really the idea of this is to audible run. For that, you need all the information on all the different formations that you're going to use. I'm signing out though as always. Peace. Yes.